Oh my god. Now, if you haven't had the chance to fight this amazing creature, this video is for you. Or if you do know about Espinas and just want to bask in its glory, this is also for you. Now, seeing that it comes from Frontier, you can already guarantee one thing without even watching this video. It's going to be very unique. That is a common theme between Frontier and the mainline games. Frontier monsters are just built different in every meaning of the word. What I can tell you right off the bat is that you'll definitely enjoy the fight. It will satisfy your desire for challenge and its gear looks dope. But let's go ahead and take a deeper look and roll out what to expect from Espinas. So there's about a 99.9% .9 chance that your first experience with the Spinus is going to be loaded with adorableness because it will be off in dreamland. But the cuteness overload doesn't stop there. Even if you try to be a piece of human garbage and try to wake up this majestic creature, it will just brush you away with its thorny tail and continue to slumber. Why would a monster just sleep out in the open like this, all carefree-like? Because Espinas doesn't give a shit. We're talking about an elder level strength monster like Rajang, but even further, to the point where it would be expected to win against an elder dragon. Espinas were actually known to take on Kushala de Aura, even though he got bodied in the trailer. Now, even when you wake it up, it'll still treat any threat as nothing more than a nuisance. It will attack, yes, but it will just be something like a leisurely bite or tail swing to drive off the little Velociprey or bugs near it. If the threat continues and Espinas actually recognizes it as worthy, it fires into an enraged state that gets the blood flowing and cranks things to 11. Prior to being enraged, Espinas won't have to worry much about attacks landing because its thorn and hide are extremely tough. Once it goes into that enraged state though, it's a bit of a good news, bad news kind of scenario. The good news is that once it's enraged, you will actually be able to land attacks on its formerly tough hide much easier. The bad news? Well... This enraged state is like furious times a hundred, bolt reaver times a thousand. Not only do its attacks get much more powerful, but the speed of these attacks increase drastically and openings for punishment get much, much smaller. It's a wide variety of dashes and ranged attacks. I don't want to give everything away, but you can guarantee there will be relentless pressure on you at all times. There will be times that Espinas will lose interest again and go back into a little bit of a leisurely state, and I'm telling you, you need to take full advantage of this every single time. You don't beat up on Elder Dragons just through brute strength and speed alone, which again, Espinas has a ton of. You do so with tricks up your sleeve. Espinas, when in its enraged state, will actually begin to ooze poison out of its rose-like thorns that cover its body. This is quite the hazard for us hunters, as this means if Espinas hits us with basically any attack, we will be poisoned whether it's a graze of a tailspin or a tap of the toe after a charge. That's not the only way it can inflict poison though. Move over Rathalos and Rathian with your meager fireballs. Espinas is coming through with toxic fireballs that will actually poison you as well. Now, in Frontier, these toxic fireballs could even paralyze you. It presents a pretty big conundrum finding the window of opportunity to actually pop off an antidote or an herbal medicine, but should be more manageable in 5th gen, seeing as how hunters can move now while drinking. But you're going to need a lot of those things, so be sure to bring plenty. The Espinus gear is pretty dope from an aesthetic standpoint, very Devil May Cry Dante vibes. Now, as far as the stats, skills, etc., I would be absolutely shocked if we didn't get something from the pull of latent power poison attack, agitator, or poison resistance, and surely some wild card skills as well. Agitator literally couldn't fit another monster better. Latent power could fit due to its lackadaisical nature that shifts into enraged power, and the poison skills are pretty obvious. When it comes to Espinas weapons, I couldn't be more hype. I'm a sucker for status, so it's right up my alley. That's not to say that it is a guarantee that all of the weapons will have poison on them. Capcom could very well pull something that they've done before with Rathian weapons and have some being poison, while others might be the fire element. 
regardless of what status or element they have, damn, do they look good as hell. I'd have to say that, in my personal opinion, the sword and shield in the dual blade sit at the top as far as looks go for me. We actually got to see what the charge blade looked like, seeing as how there was not charge blade in Frontier, so that's a new design altogether, but I'm very excited to see what the insect glaive is going to look like as well. The biggest impact that the introduction of Espionus has is the fact that the door is officially open for Frontier monsters. They couldn't have picked a better monster to represent Frontier. This happening baffles me even more as to why they decided on Lavosioth before, but that's old news. So many people incorrectly think all Frontier is is spikes and one-shots, and while Espinus is covered in thorns, he can display just how much fun the Frontier fights are and bridge the gap between Frontier and the main line. There very well could be a day that we see Baru Agaru draining a great Ragi of its poison. Ruko Deora may bolster the Elder Dragon roster with its magnetic personality someday. Espinus was the perfect pick for people's first exposure to Frontier. It will help to lessen the inherent stigma and give a better insight into what makes the Frontier fight so great, and in a lot of cases, so challenging. Don't be fooled. A lot of people first expect Espinas to be a spiky wrath, but it's very much its own beast, and when time finally comes to take it on in Sunbreak, many more people will embrace the journey to a new Frontier. But that's gonna be it for this one. How are you feeling about Sunbreak? Did this Capcom showcase floor you as much as it did me? If you want to keep the conversation going, feel free to join the Discord. Link in the description for that. Subscribe for more Monster Hunter and Sunbreak content. Have a good night, happy hunting, and I will see you guys in the next video.